Welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking at drop caps. Now here you can see I've got two um, paragraphs of text and uh, let's go and look at what drop caps does and where to actually find it. So we're going to go to the insert tab and then we are going to go to our text section similar to where we went to for the object. Right? And you'll see this little icon here and it says add a drop cap. So when we click on the little down arrow, you can see we have none. You can see if we, aha, there we go. If we go with dropped, that's what it looks like. And in the margin, that's what that looks like. So what you'll see, and I'm just going to click on the eye over here, um, is that wherever your mouse pointer is, wherever that cursor is, it's going to take that letter and you'll see it will enlarge it to the size of the paragraph. So if I go um, with T over here, you'll see it goes down three lines. Now, why only three lines? If we go to drop cap options, you'll see here that when it's dropped, look at what it says, lines to drop, three. Okay, so we can go and modify things here. So let's say, for example, we want it to be century gothic we wanted to drop down in this case four lines and the distance from the text we wanted to be around about two and a half centimeters or just two centimeters when we click OK that's what it does so if we go to the top one here and we say dropped it's going to do exactly the same thing right unless we go and change the options and say OK because you'll see by default it's three so let's go and say two lines, let's go and make it a different font and this time let's just say half a centimeter, we click OK and there you can see the difference. So remember drop caps, first identify where you need it to be, so if it's on this eye or wherever the case may be, insert tab, go to the text section, add a drop cap and then follow the instructions on the question paper um, because they'll tell you if it needs to be drop cap, if it's need it needs to be in the margin um, and what options you need to choose. Everything will be in the paper, so follow the instructions and you'll be fine doing your drop cap.